Hi friends! Welcome to a new tutorial video about Digital Audio Workstation Audacity. Today we're going to introduce this software and explain some of its basic features. Audacity is a free software with an official website from which you can download the most recent version. Once we have it installed in our computer, we can open the program and start working immediately. Here is the main window, with our project sample rate at the bottom left part. You can change the settings if the default ones don't suit your needs. Here you can see two very important factors. The audio output channel, through which we will hear the audios, for instance our computer speakers, along with the volume and the audio input channel, through which we can record audio and its input level. We can work either by recording new sounds or with already created files. Let's start with the latter. Any sound file that we drag to the Audacity window will appear as a new track in our project. We can add as many files as we want. It's very important that the files are in a format supported by Audacity. The most usual ones are WAV and MP3. As you can see on screen, each track shows up on our timeline as a visual representation of a sound wave, with its sample rate and bit depth specified, and two buttons, one to mute this track and one to mute the rest of the tracks. You can also control its gain and the stereo balance. We can click on play to listen to all the sounds in our timeline, Pause it, stop it, etc. The play cursor moves forward along the timeline. When we stop, we can place it wherever we like and click on play again to listen from that specific point on. If we keep the left button of our mouse pressed and then we move the icon along the wave, we will select a piece of audio in one or several tracks. When we stop pressing, we can delete that part without leaving a gap in the middle. Or leaving it. If we want to move an audio block to change its place inside a track, or to move it to a different one, we can switch our icon to the two-point arrow. With it, we can drag blocks of sound by simply keeping the left button pressed and moving the mouse cursor. Thus, we can clean our sound by removing noises or whatever is not needed, we can mix them, you can have music in one track and voice in a different track, etc. We've already edited our sound, so we can export the result or save our project to continue working on it sometime later. Doing this will allow us to access the workspace as it was when we saved it. The program will ask you if you prefer having all the source files copied as part of the project folder or if you want the project to depend on a link to the original files. This is an important decision. If the project doesn't have sound files linked to it, it won't be possible to continue working on it. When we have finished working and we want to save the result of our work, we can click on Export. We can export all the tracks as they are in our mix, or we can export only a piece we have selected. We can choose the export format in advance, WAV, MP3, etc. Or in the window that opens when we click on Export or Export Selection. In that window we can also select the bit depth. The sample rate of our exported file will be the one we selected for the whole project. And that's all for today. With these few very simple tools we can do a lot of different audio work, cleaning, mixing and organizing our audio content. We hope you find it useful. Thanks for your attention and see you at Danny Voiceovers.